Hey guys, gonna give you a quick review of the GoVision 1080p sunglasses, uh, which have the built-in camera in the middle. And I'm just a regular guy, I bought these to just do some outside shooting, thought it might be cool to be able to wear a camera and uh, not have to spend a ton of money. I actually got these for 30 bucks on eBay, 30 bucks. You can get these brand new in the box if you go to eBay for 50 bucks or less. Um, just a real inexpensive way to get uh, some good outside uh, camera work. So just watch my review. It's about four minutes of how they actually work. And then I've got two or three minutes of actual indoor-outdoor footage so you can see the quality of the picture. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this and maybe you'll end up getting a pair of these. Hey guys, going to give you a quick review of these uh, 1080p GoVision glasses here. And I've got some real footage to show you from outside. So here's just kind of a quick overview of what you get. Get your instructions little lens cleaner. This is kind of nice. Comes with a couple extra um, sets of lenses. Different shades. I personally didn't mind the ones that were in there, but that'll be nice if I ever break them. Uh, it's got a nice hard case. Little warranty card came with it. Um, I already put my little micro SD card in it, which goes right there. You can see it. Good, you know, little spring activated. Push down with your fingernail. There it is. Okay. So, it's not a bad little package here. Um, so that's basically just what to expect, and then a little USB. Uh, this is kind of a special camera one on the end, so it's not like your Samsung phone one. So that's basically what came with it, um, just so you know. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the lens and cleaner in there with the glasses and the USB, but you know, all this stuff here, I'm gonna put it in a little baggie here, save it for a rainy day. I mean, less is more. I don't need to carry all this junk around with me. I've got it plugged in right now. When uh, when it's hooked to the USB here, it's charging. You see the red light? Solid actually means it's charged. I've already charged them. And it's pretty basic here what we've got. Um, the Right here is the micro uh, SD card. Just uh, pretty simple here. Just pop it down there. You can see that? It's right there. It's ready to, you know, you can pull it out. If you really need to see that, I'm gonna put it back in. It's got a little spring in there. Hold it in place, pop down. And then this has a little rubber cover on it for the USB to uh, charge it and to download the files. Um, the glasses themselves, pretty cool. Got a couple fingerprints on them. You can see the camera's right in the middle there. And I actually liked them as far as keeping the sun out. You know, they're fairly stylish looking. I mean, not too goofy. I mean, yeah, they're a little exaggerated, but that's what they are. They're, you know, camera glasses. But um, here's one thing I did like. You plug it right in here. And look at this. This is just on Windows Vista. I mean, it's right there. It's right ready to just uh, open up the folder. And there's the file. The DCIM. And look at this. And here's the f file that the movie that I just shot that I'm going to put in this video. So very easy to operate here. Very easy. So I'm going to show you the footage here. And then just one thing I'm just going to mention on the top here, how they work. Pretty easy to use. You just hold the video button down, the red light starts blinking, so now you're recording. When you're done recording, just hold the button down again and it goes off. But you do have to bring it into video mode to get still pictures on that second button for camera shots. Good camera, megapixel wise. But kind of goofy how you have to go to video mode, but all around good. It is a little goofy. Yet. Now, the camera's pretty good. It's pretty clear. But you'd think that they would have it so you just push the button and take a picture, right? Push the button and take a picture. But you actually have to power it on so you're, like, in a video mode. And then you have to, like, take your pictures, so what I found was I was getting a little extra video here and there. Not a big deal when you're editing it. But I'm just saying, uh, it's a little bit of monkeying around there with the camera. So I didn't think that was super user friendly. Um, that's all. Just kind of making a note of it. But it did take good pictures as far as the quality of the megapixels. So all around again, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these. Put on the Go Visions here and uh, 1080p, and we'll uh, we're gonna kind of uh, just see what they're like outside. Uh, I've used them before a little bit, and one thing I gotta admit, they got a really good microphone on them. I mean, today's a really windy day out too, 
very windy so we're gonna look at my snowmobiles <laughs> you thought I like those but it's very very windy out I'm just gonna stand here the one thing I did notice about them it seems like I have to look down more you know they they say it's a natural wherever you look but I find that I do have to look down more like if I think I'm looking at this one part of my snowmobile I actually gotta move my head you know the camera's right in the middle here one other note also the more you level them out out of the sun they seem to get the picture clearer it's kind of sad no snow <laughs> But uh, sky, trees, cars, and uh, the one thing um, that I'll have to admit about these, um, I've used them outside, they look pretty good. They actually do work pretty good, I mean, they're fairly inexpensive. I mean, these aren't like hundreds of dollars. I actually got these for 30 bucks off eBay. <laughs> so watch it when you're spending like 120 or something, you get them brand new in the box for like 50 bucks you know or less but the one thing i've noticed about them like we go in the garage here a little bit and with the sunlight from outside it's probably not too bad still we'll see when we do this but if i flat out shut this door and go into artificial light or not that much light it's gonna start getting really choppy okay so that is one thing i have noticed under artificial light um so i wouldn't really count on these for indoor night kind of shooting same thing here if i walk in here i've got some light coming from the window um but i do notice that it is choppy with these under artificial light now if i turn the light on here now this isn't moving much either not gonna be too bad if you got a little bit of daytime light coming in here it's not too bad okay and uh, just one last thing go back we're kind of looking outside okay so there you go step out one more time here in the wind all in all though I gotta admit for the money um, these are an inexpensive way to uh, very windy out today again and the microphone works really good uh, this is a very inexpensive uh, set of camera glasses and I think you could have a lot of fun with them for a lot of cheap uh, a lot of cheap so to speak not too much money if you do the right uh, deal on eBay with them so go vision 1080p so far I'm happy with them We'll just want to make a summary here. Um, again, these have a great microphone. Keep in mind, some of the microphone parts in this video I've recorded on different mics. Uh, it's just when I was walking around outside on that actual uh, footage that it was the real microphone of the 1080Ps. Uh, great built-in microphone, great video in the daytime. Um, little touchy indoors under artificial light uh, when you're moving, a little choppy. Um, I think the sunglasses again look fairly stylish, the camera works good. Remember there's no built-in uh, flash or video light, so that's kind of a daytime thing. And uh, also just a little touchy on the picture taking when you have to put it in that video mode. But overall, uh, great megapixel camera. I think these are great value. My advice is just try to pick them up as inexpensively as you can, whether it be some special on their website or like I did on eBay. Uh, and that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, maybe you'll consider getting some of these. Oh, one last thing too. They do have a decent, about a two hour record time and pretty good memory uh, with the uh, micro SD card. Okay.